Hello viewers. Did you have a quite a disappointing video? This full transformer here. Not doing too well. Has a partial discharge inside the tank. And I uh, think I know exactly what caused it. Um, right before I posted the video of just the uh, arcs on the 22,000 volt tap. It was about 20 degrees for a whole week. And then it went up to like 70 degrees. Like overnight. And uh, this whole transformer was soaked in condensation. There are full size water drops coming down. And if you can see the board here is that it's sitting on is all waterlogged. And it did it all day until it went back to uh, the uh, regular winter temperature. And uh, I'm worried that the moisture was able to get through into the case and uh, mix with the oil. So I contacted the manufacturer already. I'm just waiting for a response. I don't know if I'll have to send in oil samples. Um, whole past week has been a mess. <laughs> Car wouldn't start either. I was actually able to trace that down to a fuel pump connection that was overheated. But this is more importantly. So, whatever. so I'm going to plug it in. This is on a delta connection. And as you can see, it's pulling in 0.2 amps. This is delta, so none of those are grounded. And there is no discharge inside the tank. I'll get it. I'm gonna have to probably amplify the audio. So you can hear it's just humming. There is no discharge inside the tank. But uh, it's not the case when it's connected in a ground in a ground light configuration. So if I just ground this tower here out, H2. Cause I went on a road trip recently and the power company, I don't know what power company it was, it was in New Jersey. They were putting the H1, this is supposed to be H2, they are connecting the live in the here and grounding that one out. Not right. So, it's that. Grounded, I'll just plug it back in. Have to be careful, no ballast, so. I mean, even if there was a ballast, it probably wouldn't do anything. As you can see, we're, it's almost at 0 0.3, 0 0.3 amps, 0 0.28. I'll bring the microphone around. Definitely seems to be on the upper end of the transformer, like from here up, which is the way it sounds, um, which is hopefully good. That means it's not in the coil. Hopefully, if it's in the coil, you know, it's basically scrap. Um, it's really, I know, it's just a, it's only like five hundred dollars for a new one, but you know, still. Kind of upsetting just that it was, you know, it's not even a year old. I know it's nothing really the manufacturer could have done to uh, prevent, um, you know, transformers fail every day in the field, so. And there's still alive. 22,000 volts to ground, so. Unplug it. And I tried uh, warming it up with a space heater, you know, all around. And uh, I mean, the uh, temperature got up to uh, about a room temperature. It's about, you know, 35 degrees out here. And, uh, you know, I relieved the pressure in the tank and it still didn't really stop the discharge. So I'm thinking it could be on the shanks. 
And these go down, they have a shank that's about as equal in length as this bushing is. That goes, you know, down into the coil. Or it could be on the tap changer. Because, you know, the 22,000 volt components are really only like that far away from the case in the oil. So if this tank is grounded, I could see that that could cause an issue. But it really does sound like it's more on this side here. Or the only other thing is that it really could be the coil. And I uh, feel bad for uh, going to them and, you know, saying, you yeah, know, oh, it has a discharge inside. I'm pretty sure it's not covered under warranty because, you know, they don't cover anything caused by weather-related incidents. It's an industry standard. Especially after I just ordered another transformer, so. But... Other than that, um, if any viewers know, you know more than I do, I only really work in the supply chain of the electrical industry. Um, if they know any kind of engineering behind it, if what it could be or if it's normal, um, I'd appreciate it. Uh, until next time, catch you later.